Kathy was diagnosed uh, at the end of 2014, only a couple of days before her 49th birthday. She had really very few symptoms that might have led a doctor sus to suspect that she was as sick as she was. She was diagnosed too late. She was a healthy, fit, went to the gym, worked, mother of three children. And when this hit, I was, you know, dumbfounded. There are thousands of Australians like Cathy who have run out of treatment options for their cancer. This has to change. Garvin's Genomic Cancer Medicine Program includes clinical trials for cancer patients and management for families with high cancer risk. So genomic medicine is a form of medicine where we base treatments philosophically and practically on the patient's genome, their DNA, on the fundamental building blocks of who they are and or what's made up in their tumour. The Genomic Cancer Medicine Program has two main focuses. Clinical trials with treatments that we call MOST and our Cancer Risk in the Young study. The MOST trial differs from standard trials in several important ways. The first is that it's designed to be more efficient because patients with rare cancers can't afford the time. The second thing is that the MOST trial is available to any patient. It doesn't matter where the cancer arose, we want to see those patients offered the molecular screening and access to drugs on this trial. This is the notion of precision medicine, the right drug to the right patient at the right time. The third is that it's not a randomised study. They all receive an experimental therapy based around their tumour signature. There are multiple treatments. We don't just offer one treatment. We're hoping to offer up to 12 treatments over the next 6 to 12 months. So one of the clever things about the most design is that it offers something for all patients, even for those who don't have a target following our molecular screen. And that happens in about one in 10 patients. So if you're one of the 90% who doesn't have a target identified following our genomic test, those patients we offer immunotherapies to. If we can't find a drug that matches the patient's tumor, what we have the ability to do is to give them immunotherapy so that instead of trying to attack the tumour directly, what we do is we turn on the immune system and let it attack the tumour. Because we don't know exactly where the lock and key is to turn the tumour off, but we do know that there's an immune system sitting there that potentially could attack the tumour on multiple fronts, but just needs a little bit of a kick to get going. The genetic cancer risk in the young study is part of the genomic cancer medicine program. We're trying to understand why some people develop cancer at a young age, and we're doing that by looking at the hereditary changes in people's DNA. In the past, we've been able to look at one or a few genes at a time, but now with the advanced technology available at the Garvin, we're able to look at every single gene, and that's really powerful. Cancer is, is important because if we can identify people that are at a greater risk of developing cancer, then we can do something about it. So generally, outcomes are better the earlier that we pick up a cancer. And so knowing the people that are at greater risk gives us a head start in knowing how to look after those people's health. I want to thank the Kinghorn Cancer Centre Visionaries and the Federal Government for establishing a centre dedicated to using science to improve the outcomes for patients with cancer. I also want to thank the New South Wales Government for their faith and investment in the Genomic Cancer Medicine Program which is taking the potential of this cancer centre and turning it into something that actually impacts upon patients' lives. Finally, and perhaps most importantly of all, none of this would be possible without the philanthropic support of the community. They're always the ones who go in first. Before governments invest, it's always the community that breaks the new ground. It's their contributions that have made all of this possible.